السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته كل عام وأنتم بخير بمناسبة ولادة يوم أحد عشر الله تعالى الفرج الشريف وليلة جمعة مباركة إن شاء الله brothers and sisters you guys are all doing well إن شاء الله you guys are all staying safe through this coronavirus Imam Jafar al-Sadiq alayhi salam said some signs of a hypocrite are one whose heart does not match his actions so one who in reality in his heart he knows he shouldn't do this but continues to go on and do this it could be a bad action he knows he shouldn't be doing it but he continues to do it Imam Masadiq says this is a sign of a hypocrite Imam Zain al-Abideen alayhi salam and we're gonna get into the third reason why prayers sometimes are unanswered Imam Zain al-Abideen says if you're one person who is a hypocrite around your brothers and your sisters or just a hypocrite, or hypocrite in general, your prayers will not be getting accepted. I spoke about this a few days ago when we were celebrating the birth of Imam Mahdi and I said the third reason is because there's people that are hypocrites. One of the most disliked things by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is one who is a hypocrite. You, if you tell somebody, go go pray for example. This happens a lot in the community. Sorry. Go pray. You yourself, you're not praying, but you're telling others to go pray. Today in the community, this happens a lot. So much happens a lot. And there's stuff that are bad. For some, for example, uh, uh, somebody who's 16 tells his younger brother that's 13. He sees him smoking. He says, don't smoke. It's underage smoking. You're not supposed to be smoking. The 16-year-old brother himself, what is he doing? He's smoking himself. This is why this is the one, the most hated things by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It leads always to a bad thing. It leads to sometimes you losing your deen, you losing your religion, you getting a ton of bad deeds. So my brothers and sisters, don't be like those people that tell others to do something when them themselves are not doing it. Don't be one of these people that tell others not to do something when you yourself are doing it. It's one of the most hated actions by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. My brothers and sisters, like I've been saying, these actions, they happen so much in the community today. So much. Like, in the, yesterday we spoke about it. Not instigating. And two nights ago we spoke about it. Evil intentions. My brothers and sisters, these things are all happening today. Especially upon the youth. So just be careful what actions you're committing. Because you could quite possibly be losing your akhirah due to these actions. Because nobody knows. It might be one prayer that makes you go to heaven. It might be one prayer that you missed is a reason you might not go to heaven. Just think about your everyday actions and think about the consequences of your actions. The consequences might not be present in the dunya, but my brothers and sisters, trust me. The consequences will be present in the akhirah. Just be careful what actions you're committing. Even in today's community, like we say, it's much easier to do stuff because you, when you're around your friend. And when you're around your friend or friends, what happens? You, you, you want to do dumb stuff. You want to do stupid actions because you want to be cool. And friends, they're not actually your friends. Your real friends will tell you not to do this action. Your, your real friends would guide you to the right path. So my brothers and sisters, if you're hanging out with people that are encouraging you to do bad stuff, just know that those are not your real friends. Those are people who are just want, want to see drama and want to want to laugh but they don't want to put themselves in harm's way so they put you in harm's way so my brothers and sisters just be careful with your everyday actions be careful who you're hanging out with because who you're hanging out with can lead to you becoming a hypocrite like we know today upon the youth 14 15 year olds they don't smoke they start hanging out with people they start smoking but you know last week they told their brother that's 13 don't smoke this could lead to you becoming a hypocrite this could lead to you losing your dean you losing your akhirah there's so much people that get pushed away from their deen at the worst times. Like, for example, right now, the coronavirus. Over 21,000 cases, over 1,000 deaths in Michigan alone. Some people, like we have been saying, they're getting closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, praying their wajib of prayers, praying the mustahab if they're able to, and doing just mustahab actions in general, which, alhamdulillah, that's amazing. And then there's some brothers and sisters that before this virus, we're not going to say they were the closest to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They knew their deen. They were at least praying the wajib prayers. 
after this virus, when we're supposed to be getting closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, my brothers and sisters, we're supposed to be getting closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Instead of getting closer, we're distancing, we're distancing ourselves from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. My brothers and sisters, this is not what we're supposed to be doing. We're supposed to be getting closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in this time of fear. Please, my brothers and sisters, just think about your actions like we've been saying. Nobody knows if they're going to die anytime soon. Nobody knows if they're going to catch the virus anytime soon. But you always got to be prepared for anything that comes your way. My brothers and sisters, please stay safe through this virus. And you're back on the head of the world. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.